Hi, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for the UX Writer Conference, and that's coming up in October on the 6th and 7th. It's online. It's a digital event for two days, so you can attend from anywhere, from the comfort of your home office, wherever that might be. We have a lot of great speakers, and I get to have a little bit of advanced time with them, as do you. And so right now I'm talking with Carlos Candiani. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Joe. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for uh, visiting with me for a few minutes. Uh, I'm talking from my home office in Vashon Island, which is near Seattle. And where are you talking to us from? In Mexico City. So it's, it's very nice to, to speak uh, uh, from this big, big, big city. Uh, that I know you know you have been here and... But everybody is welcome to visit some someday. Well, it's great to have your international perspective as part of our event. So uh, we, we're looking forward to that. And uh, let's just learn a little bit more about you. Why don't you talk a little bit about your background and the type of work that you do? Of course. Well, um, actually, um, I writing has been always. Uh, uh, been a part of me. I started writing since I was a teenager, and I have never stopped. Um, during high school and college, I, I I published some short stories in literature magazines, and then I published a collection of poetry, and that that that, that collection became a um, an audio collection. So yeah, literature is a big part of my life. I consider myself a, a writer uh, before anything else and and poetry and short stories are my favorite kind of literature so, uh, since uh, that beginning i always had been writing for companies for government for marketing agencies and now for uh, financial institutions as a UX writer as you know um i started translating some contracts for a spanish bank and uh, in the in government, and I, I also wrote some campaigns for radio and television. And creative content ha has always been part of uh, my career. Also, uh, I then I lived three years in Spain, uh, in Madrid, where I wrote uh, a book that I uh, published with a Spanish uh, publisher uh, with uh, a book of short stories. Um, and I have also participated in collections of short stories, anthologies. I have a few to show here. This is my book, <laughs> and this is some part of the anthology. So literature is, is really your part of my, it's, it's my passion. And I think, I really believe that literature has been uh, shaping my uh, me as a UX writer uh, also. So narrative is a part of what I do. We tell stories, right? So um, uh, that's why I have been trying to to be a, a, a teacher of UX writing since 2018 and trying to explain this uh, relationship between literature and what we call storytelling, uh, even though we are working for big companies right now. Well, uh, congratulations on um, all of the creative, creative writing and getting things published. I know how much work and passion has to go into that. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the uh, work that you're doing now uh, with NewBank? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, I have been uh, uh, since 2020 at NewBank. has been amazing. This is a place I really uh, care about. This is a place that has been really opening uh, with uh, proposing and trying to understand what this process is for a UX writer. So there are uh, a few UX writers of Brazil, uh, of Brazil and, and I am the only one in Mexico. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a big job uh, trying to, to put together the UX writing process in Mexico. But uh, it's, been, it's been really great. I was a UX writer uh, in, in a big bank uh, called BBVA. Maybe you have uh, it's a Spanish bank. Um, I, I, I feel like I, uh, UX writing has been amazing for me. It has taken me to Spain. Uh, uh, last year to, to work in global projects uh, in this large uh, Spanish bank and, and 
and has also taken me to places like Brazil I, 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 and Sao Paulo, working also for global projects, and now I'm working with Mexico and Colombia. So to me, it's been a, a discovery every day. This is a role, you know, it's not that um, known everywhere, everywhere. So we have been trying to explain what we do and how we do it. So to me, it's most about a collaboration, trying to work together, a, a teamwork process. So I really like it. Well, let's talk a little bit about the session that you're going to do at the conference, and that title is UX Writing and UX Research, the co-writing process. So uh, talk a little bit about uh, why you think this is something that we'll find interesting, and, and what can we hope to learn from it? Of course. As, uh, as I was saying, collaboration is a big uh, part of the process that we do. We co-write. I really believe we are co-writers with uh, product design, with UX research, with, uh, with service design. Uh, actually, I just teach a, a course just for uh, service designers uh, for writing skills because I, I believe that we have to build these kind of bridges with, uh, between disciplines. It's not that, uh, for example, when I was a copywriter, I used to work um, alone. It, it was like a process that um, my, uh, I was doing myself. Here, I think as a UX writer, you have to to work together. And I feel really this is just the beginning. And I think it's very important that companies continue to seek that, uh, clear and transparent communication. And this will only be possible uh, to achieve uh, if they create the roles of UX writer and UX research and service designer and product design, and and they make them work together. So. I have been done that for a long time now. I have been known great, amazing professionals that are uh, UX researchers, and I understand my work better when I work with them. So I want I, I want to explain that. I want to, to to talk about that. I know a lot of people have been doing this, so I think it's going to be a very interesting conversation during the conference. Well, yeah, I think that's going to be a, a really good, interesting topic to uh, have as part of the event. And uh, I look forward to having you as part of the program. And thanks for taking a few minutes to talk with me today about your background and your interests. Thank you. I can't wait. I know it's going to be, it's going to be an amazing conference. And congratulations for everything. <laughs>